Hi, Steve here with the Dennis Biscuit Adventures. Yippee! But we'll put that over there. Because very shortly I shall be making the worldwide exclusive announcement. Hey, see I'll put on my serious voice there to, to emphasise just how huge this announcement is. Uh, it's the sort of thing you'll always remember, you know, like um, like when man first walked on the moon or your, like your wedding day. You always remember that. You know, hey, well I'm not surprised you can't remember it. As soon as I saw you staggering down the aisle, I thought, hello, she's been on the Lambrusca again. Where was I? Yes, exciting news. But we'll get to that in a minute. First of all, I thought, I thought I'd bring you up to date what's been happening since we last spoke. Been, it's been a month or so. Um, I've had a lot of correspondence. A lot of letters, emails, millions, millions possibly. But at least 12. Um... Mainly about Dennis, very positive, very complimentary. Everybody loves Dennis. But um, I've had other stuff as well. I had a, uh, I had a message from a, a lovely chap in Nigeria. He's come into a lot of money, millions actually. And um, he wants to share it with me, a complete stranger. Sorry about that, but I get a bit emotional talking about that because it... That uh, restores your faith in human nature, that sort of thing, I think. I've sent him my bank details and my password and that, and he said I'm, I'm in for a nice surprise. Yeah. Then, of course, I've had uh, quite a few messages from Svetlana. Very nice young Russian lady. She, uh, she says, hang on, she, she says, I wish for you to marry me and have my babies. I thought, it's a bit strange, isn't it? Because I don't know her. I don't know it. I feel a bit sorry for her, actually. I, I don't think she's got much money. I don't think she can afford clothes. Every time she sends a photograph, she's in a bikini, you know, even if it's pouring down with rain. So that's a bit... Hey, eh? Svetlana, young, young Russian lady. You don't know her. She wants for me to marry her and have her babies. So uh, what do you mean I shouldn't encourage her? I don't even know her. Ridiculous. How have I encouraged her? I encourage her. Hey. Of course I told her that was the first thing I said. I said I'd been very happily married for what sometimes feels like 50 years. I told her that. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, but mainly mainly about Dennis, of course. Um, and everybody loves it. I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, what have we got? Who have we got? Oh, yeah. Jock McTavish from Wales. I've had a lot of correspondence from Jock. Uh, a bit too much, to be honest, Jock, but we'll, we'll leave that for now. This was his first email, actually. Um, Dear Sir, huge fan. Uh, whatever. I'm 52 years old, have no friends, and still live at home with my mother. That's nice, he's still close to his mother, isn't he? My life was going nowhere. I had nothing to look forward to. And then one day I discovered the Dennis Biscuit Adventures. Yippee! He never actually wrote that. I just threw that in. Now my life is wonderful. It is quite possibly the greatest book what was ever wrote. Now, <clears throat> he spells what? W-O-T. Uh... That's all right. And then he, he only says possibly the greatest book what was ever wrote. So that's a bit disappointing. But, but still, it was, uh, it's nice. Nice to hear that. And uh, that's so typical of the, uh, the messages I, I was getting. Uh, a lot of stuff like that from, from sad people, lonely people, pathetic people, really. And I mean that in a nice, caring sort of way. But then... Um, as the weeks went by, the tone started to change a bit. It started to change. I'll, I'll give you an example. What have we got? Just pick one at random. Oh, Jock McTavish. Surprise, surprise. Stevie boy, my old mate. Now, I'll put that down there. Now, if you're watching this, uh, Jock, and I'm sure you will be, I'm not your old mate. I'm not even your new mate. In fact, you may be surprised to learn we've never met. We're not mates. It's nice to get the odd, mail, the odd email off a, a reader, but 
50 emails a day, it's, it's, it's getting a bit creepy. It's just too much. And you can stop sending them gifts as well. I'm running out of space. That life-size portrait you did, that, that's rubbish. Looks nothing like me. I look like Margaret Thatcher. Now, I don't have to take out a restraining order, Jock. You seem a nice bloke. There's someone out there for you. It's just not me. But we'll put that to, we'll leave that for now because I'm busy. Anyway, what did you write? Um, well, I could summarise really because they're all the same. Basically, life was terrible. And then they discovered Dennis Biscuit. Yippee. Life was wonderful. They finished reading Dennis Biscuit. Life's bad again. And then they're pleading and begging me, you know, to write more Dennis Biscuit. And, um, well, I was surprised, you know. I wrote this and it's all there. Everything you need to know about Dennis is there in that book. I never gave a thought to writing a sequel or anything like that. Because there's other stuff I want to do with my life, you know. Um, Morris dancing. Uh, lion taming, astronaut, there's all sorts of stuff I haven't got around to doing yet. But then, you know, I gave it a lot of thought and I thought, these are my people. Some of these people, like poor unfortunate Jock, Dennis Biscuit is all they've got in their life. I owe it to them. I owe it to them. And that is why today on the... Oh, where's my watch? What date is it? The date? No, oh, it doesn't matter. Today on the, whatever the date is, I stand before you, but in a sitting position, uh, stand before you, but in a sitting position, to make a worldwide exclusive announcement. I couldn't afford an orchestra, so I just improvised there. The millions upon millions of begging letters did not go unnoticed. The people's prayers have finally been answered. In 2018, there will be a new Dennis Biscuit book. Oh, hang on, hang on. I could pull the muscle in my lip. It's all right. Uh, yes, new Dennis Biscuit book. Dennis Biscuit and the man from Paris with the very large head. Hey, intriguing title, eh? And of course, I can't tell you a lot. Uh, my lips are sealed. But what I can tell you is um, very exciting. Lots of action, lots of laughs, and lots of those big Dennis Biscuit disasters that we all love. So there you go, coming next year. I told you it was huge. No, you didn't realise just how big an announcement that would be. And, uh, oh, hang on, hang on. The emails are flooding in. What have we got? <sighs> Jock McTavish, first on the list. What have we got? Dear Sir. That's better. Back to showing a bit of respect now, see. Dear Sir. Uh, I am sitting here in the fetal position, crying tears of joy. You should be made of sa You should be made a saint. No. There's no need for that, Jock. Uh, well, unless you can arrange it. I mean, if you know somebody, I suppose it would look good on the book. But if you can't, don't worry about it. Because um, if I can bring a bit of happiness to a poor, unfortunate bloke like Jock, that's all the payment I need. Well, of course, you've got to pay for the book. But other than that, that's all the payment I need. So... I know what's going to happen next. Uh, Jock's probably busy typing, even right as we speak. They're going to think about it and they're going to go, uh, this is the greatest news I've ever heard. You know, you've made my, made my day, you've saved me, that sort of thing. But uh, how am I supposed to wait till next year? What can I do? How can I survive? And I'll tell you what, I can help you with that. You're going to pick up this book, The Dennis Biscuit Adventures. Yeah. And you're going to read it all over again. Because luckily it gets better every time you read it. So there you go. That's that sorted. So that's pretty exciting, isn't it? I think you can... Hey? Svetlana, she's gone. Don't worry about her, she's gone. Deleted. 
kaput, as they say in Russia. We won't see Svetlana. Oh, God, oh look, she's back, she's back. Oh. Oh, no. She's having to wear the bikini in the snow. Well, that can't be healthy. That can't be good for anybody, can it? Hey, maybe we should, we should adopt her. Hey, there's no need for that sort of language. Sorry about that. 